If you look at the last decade in the telecom industry and you really look and ponder what happens as you move from technologies from 1G to 2G to 3G, 4, 5 and even 6, the fact of the matter is the underlying foundation of telecom networks, I really believe it's been fragmented and doesn't meet web scale architecture, cloud architecture that is needed to offer new services and opportunities, especially with technologies as 5G coming about. Myself and my team are responsible on building Rakuten new mobile platform, the fully virtualized end-to-end -end cloud network architecture in Japan. Architecture that Rakuten Mobile is building is what I really will tell you. It's true 5G architecture. It's an architecture that's built in user plane, data plane separation with this new virtualized cloud platform the opportunities to leverage new use cases, especially taking advantage of our new edge platforms and edge architecture, is gonna unravel a wealth of opportunities for us developers and new companies that create new applications that you and I cannot even fathom about today. Even when you look at Rakuten as a group, you know, we are not a telecom company. We are an internet innovation and services company. Most of our existing workloads, whether it is an e-commerce, credit card, fintech services, already lives on our cloud platform. You know, during this journey, Intel was not just a company that was just selling us components. Intel was a company that's willing to put the effort energy, not just about providing our uh, hyperscale Xeon D processors and the data center processors, but look at an opportunity to really contribute in writing the software code needed to enable virtual RAN until Xeon scalable processors are running our entire virtual network functions in this network. There is approximately 188 virtual network function, making this the world largest telco cloud platform powered by Intel Xeon processors. It's 100% based on Intel platforms, and from radio access network to core, packet core, IMS core, RCS, OSS, BSS, they're all running as virtual network function on top of Xeon platforms. That simplified operation made our hardware SKUs predictable, our automation far more efficient, and deliver the cost efficiency we're looking for. We want to disrupt how services are offered to consumers in Japan, and we wanted to build a network the likes of none, a network that delivers agility, efficiency, and the cost benefits to consumers in Japan.